Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from, from the fires, fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. 
and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins, sins, save, save us, us from, from the fires, fires of hell, and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send of our signs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after these our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, God whose only, only begotten God Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what, what they promise promised, through the, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that my, by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. And let us pray, and let us pray for the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Introductory prayers. You are You're all beautiful, beautiful Mary, Mary, and the, the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. 
you are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of her Son, which you first saw through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Novena prayer, please kneel. O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived without sin, from the very first instant, you were entirely immaculate, a glorious Mary, full of grace. You are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Prince and the Lord of Lords, chose you from the singular grace and honor of being his beloved Mother. By the power of his cross, he preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by his power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me this request. Mention your intentions. Let us continue. My Holy Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God in making this petition. I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So grant that I may receive God's graces with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our recent Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase my hope in our recent Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the recent Jesus. Amen. Biblical readings for the eighth day. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and sinners their thoughts. Let them turn to the Lord to find mercy to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Prayer for the eighth day. O Blessed Virgin, my intercessor and benefactress, before the throne of God, now that the end of this novena is near, I implore and ask you that your most holy will be realized in my life. I truly repent all my sins, and I will confess them, all that may become worthy of your graces especially the grace to be with you in heaven forever. Through your intercession, O Mother, may I always obey the laws of God and of Mother Church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, hear us. 
Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, Pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Most Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Savior, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us, Tower of David. Pray for us, Tower of Ivory. Pray for us, House of Gold. Pray for us, Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us, Gate of Heaven. Pray for us, Morning Star. Pray for us, Health of the Sick. Pray for us, Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us, Solace of Migrants. Pray for us, Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us, Help of Christians. Pray for us, Queen of Angels. Pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us, Queen of Prophets. Pray for us, Queen of Apostles. Pray for us, Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us, Queen of Confessors. Pray for us, Queen of Virgins. Pray for us, Queen of All Saints. Pray for us, Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us, Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us, Queen of Families. Pray for us, Queen of Peace. Pray for us, Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never, never was, was it known that, that anyone, anyone who fled to your protection implored your help. help or such your intercession, intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come. Before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Lord incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Pope Francis' prayer to Mary Immaculate. Virgin, Virgin most, most holy, holy and immaculate, to you the honor of our people and our and loving protector, do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary, in you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words, the song of charity, resound in our works, purity and chastity, abide in our hearts and bodies, and the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor, or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children, and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy, 
born of life in God, help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days, the comforting power of hope direct our steps, the contagious warm of love steer our hearts, and may our gaze be fixed on God, in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary, hear our prayer, graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts, and may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the eighth day of the Novena in honor of the Immaculate Conception. Our Mass Presider for today is Father Roberto V. Fabilio, LRMS, Parochial Vicar of the St. Peter the Apostle Parish in Paco, Manila. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now in the eighth day of our Novena Mass in honor and preparation for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through, through my, my fault. fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ your Son, we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure, choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, 
the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day, it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us, for the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Please stand. comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, the blind able to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place? 
to satisfy such a crowd. Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Monsignor Rolly, Father Biel, brothers and sisters, magandang tanghali po. Um, since the beginning of September, the hearts of us Filipinos have been filled with anticipation of the coming Christmas. It's not yet Christmas, and yet the common feeling of anticipation makes us feel as if it is already Christmas. Our anticipation gives us that foretaste somehow of the much-awaited celebration. Moreover, such anticipation inspires us to prepare for Christmas both materially and spiritually. We are now in the eighth day of our novena in preparation for the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. This Immaculate Conception, as we may have heard many times, is a doctrine defined and declared by Pope Pius IX, affirming that the Most Blessed Virgin Mary was from the first moment of her conception by a singular grace and privilege of Almighty God and by the merits of Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, was preserved immune from all stain of original sin. The question is, was it necessary that God would make Mary immaculate at her conception for her to be the mother of Jesus? Pope Pius said, it was not necessary, but fitting. It was fitting that Mary would become a suitable dwelling and bearer of Christ, the Son of God. And so, if we look at it closely enough, Mary's Immaculate Conception was also an anticipation of her role as the mother of the Savior, and consequently, it was a great anticipation of the first Christmas. The Immaculate Conception was a great anticipation of the first Christmas, the birth of Christ, the fulfillment of the promised redemption. Since Mary's Immaculate Conception is, is a great anticipation of the first Christmas and the fulfillment of our salvation, it is also fitting that our celebration of this solemnity this feast or this solemnity should excite or inspire us to prepare ourselves spiritually for our salvation. Then what is the best spiritual preparation we should make? The concrete answer lies in our gospel today, which is about the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. My dear friends, this miracle of Jesus is recounted in all four Gospels. Bible scholars affirm 
that the reason may be that such miracle was seen both as a reminiscent of the feeding of the Israelites with manna in the desert and at the same time an anticipation again of the Eucharist which Jesus instituted at the Last Supper. The sacrament of the Eucharist Jesus instituted, this Eucharist which we celebrate now, is in turn an anticipation, my brothers and sisters, of the final banquet in heaven. And so, if we are to allow the Immaculate Conception to inspire us to prepare ourselves spiritually in anticipation of our redemption, then the best preparation should be the Eucharist. Let us be Eucharistic people so that just as God sustained the Israelites with manna in the desert, just as Jesus sustained the people in our gospel with seven loaves and two fish, so we, as we celebrate the Eucharist and receive His body in the Holy Communion, will also be sustained by Jesus with His body and blood as we journey in this life toward our final destination, heaven. Please stand. In the miracle of the feeding of 5,000 people, the Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us ask Him for all the good gifts He can provide us as we say, God, our provider, bless us. God, our provider, bless us that our pastors may continue to nourish us with the spiritual food that comes from our Lord's table. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, bless us. The government leaders may find ways to respond to the needs of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, bless us. That those who experience spiritual hunger may find Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, bless us, that we who are gathered here may love Jesus Christ as he gives himself to the multitude in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, bless us, that all who have died may come to share in the feast of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our provider, bless us. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we owe for you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. On this eighth day of our preparation for the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, we are honored by the presence of one of the silver jubilarians this year, Father Bert Fabilio. He belongs to the Lorenzo Ruiz Mission Society. This is a society or group of priests that, uh, that sends priests to China or if not China, to communities where there is majority of Chinese. So thank you, Father Bert, for gracing with your presence our eighth Mass Novena Mass. So palakpakan po natin si Father Bert. And as a sign of our gratitude, kindly accept a replica of the image of the Immaculate Conception that is enthroned at the main altar. Also, today being a Wednesday, I invite you to join the Healing Rosary for the World at 9 in the evening through our Manila Cathedral Facebook page. The community that will lead us in the praying of the Rosary is the Parish of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Antipolo City. If you are not familiar with the church, just remember the church where Popoy and Basha were married. No? Yung po yung simbahan sa hinulugang malapit, sa hinulugang taktak. So let us join them in praying rosary, praying the rosary for the healing of the world. And tomorrow will be our last day of novena at 12.10. At and on uh, Friday, the... Uh, uh, you will be given the privilege, those who are going to church today, uh, on that day, attending Mass here, you will be given the privilege to come near to the image of the Immaculate Conception. You will be allowed to go up, uh, pray to the Blessed Mother, and take picture. So, so ano po yon? Sa Friday, September, uh, December 8, uh, after every Mass, which will be at 8, 10, uh, 12, 10, 4, and 6 p.m. Right after each Mass, you will be given the chance to go up and come near the image of the Immaculate Conception. So please join us tomorrow also in our last Novena Mass and choose whatever Mass you would like to attend on December 8th here at the Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po. Please Mon stand. Monsignor, uh, Monsignor Gloroli, the pleasure is mine. This is a great privilege for me to be invited to preside the Mass here in the Manila Cathedral. It took me 25 years in the priesthood before I could be a presider of the Eucharist here in this cathedral. <laughs> So I, this is a memorable uh, uh, moment for me, and I should say it completes my celebration of uh, our 25th uh, anniversary of, in the priesthood. Thank you, Monsignor Noli, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you to all of you. Let us all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Monsignor Rolly and Father Biel and I will give you the final blessing. And may the Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us continue to love and serve the Lord by loving and serving one another. Thanks be to God.